Hey Virgos, welcome to your love reading for July 24th to the 31st for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So Virgos, I hope you're doing good. Uh, tapping into your energy was very interesting. I actually saw a bowl of fruit. And I was like, oh, okay. So some of you guys might be thinking of going vegan, vegetarian. Some of you guys might be thinking about eating healthier. But I actually felt like the symbolism behind that was definitely about magician energy, which is Virgo, right? It is mercurial energy manifesting using all the tools in your toolbox trying to understand how to use everything at your disposable disposable jesus <laughs> oh long mercury retrograde this time around how to use everything at your disposal excuse me um your disposal to get what you want and to get what you want to be working towards virgo i um, mean and honestly you guys feel very grounded you feel very grounded. You feel very zen. You feel very good. I really like your energy. Um, also, with the fruit bowl, I saw, just letting you guys know what fruits I saw, if you're curious. Uh, I saw bananas. I saw apples. I saw pears. And I saw grapes. And really honing in on that, all those colors kind of remind me of the chakras as well. I think you guys are very much aligned. If you're not, you're trying to get aligned. You're trying to get grounded to get into manifestation energy, okay? Feels very good, Virgo. You feel very focused. You feel very focused, which tells me that you're handling this eclipse energy very well. <clears throat> Sorry, guys, I'm gonna get some water. Mm. Mm. So I think it's going to be on a smoothie kick too. Smoothies just came up for some reason. <laughs> anyway, oh, going back to smoothies. Okay, some of you guys are trying to go back to doing a smoothie regimen. Good for you. I tried that personally. Couldn't quite make it work out. I, I missed chewing, to be honest with you. Um, but Virgo, let's get into your pre-shuffle here. So very interesting. We have a ton of wands. Sagittarian energy with two of wands in reverse. Aries energy and the magician in reverse. Mercurial energy could be Virgo, Gemini. Could also be Aquarius, Scorpio. For me as a reader, divine masculine energy then over here i felt the need to separate these two energies we have high priestess in reverse piscean energy also gemini for me as a reader with the six of cups scorpionic energy sweet little past memories and two of swords in reverse libra energy excuse me moon and libra to be specific and then the world in reverse Fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Rituals, Capricorn, major endings of a cycle here. I'm feeling a lot of reflective energy with this, actually. Um, I almost called you Scorpio. You might be doing a little Scorpio. Or you could have that in your chart. But Virgo, either you or someone you're connected with, connected, oh my God, connected with, uh, feels like they're walking a path that's very burdensome. Someone feels like, how did I end up on a path that's so hard? How did I end up on a path that's so hard, so stressful, and so difficult? So difficult. Someone might even feel like there was, um, okay, this is separate. Oh, well, I'm already getting a different story here. Another story, a, a group B. We'll call it group B. Group B, ugh, I'm getting a trickster energy with this for, for my group Bs. We'll go back to group A's in a minute. Um, group B, I'm feeling um, a trickster energy where you feel very deceived and you're kind of left with the carnage. Like someone left you behind and went about, went on their path, like they went right and they and you went left. But it feels more like you feel deceived by them and they left carnage for you to deal with and it's been very stressful, very burdensome. And you could be on either end of that, Virgo. But going back to group A, <laughs> going back to group A, how, how did I end up on a path that was so hard and so difficult? How did I get here? And then we get to this energy with the High Priestess in reverse, uh, Six of Cups, and the Two of Swords in reverse. High Priestess in reverse is a lot of clarity, um, hidden knowledge coming to light about one's past. About one's past. And the Two Ones in reverse and Two of Swords in reverse are really striking me. But these were all decision-based. Whoever is feeling like they're walking a really hard path, they're realizing they made their own path. They're realizing they made their own path. Something about choices. Like, when we make choices... It sets up the next step in our path, right? When we make decisions, when we make choices. And then as a, as a result of that, we have a whole other set of choices and then another set of choices and another set of choices. Someone's realizing my whole life has been basic, has basically happened and transpired because of all these decisions I've made. I did this to myself. Oh, wow. That's interesting. I did this to myself. My path is hard because I made it hard. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, that's a realization right there. My path is hard because I made it hard. And with the world in reverse, there's a big chapter closing here. 
And I think it's because of this realization. This could be closing out of old um, patterns. Uh, old bad behaviors, old ways of thinking, to really look into, look at life in a whole new perspective, like realizing, oh yeah, I'm here because I put myself here. It didn't have to be this hard. It didn't have to be this hard. Could also be tra uh, tra traveling issues, actually, is what I'm getting. Traveling issues, moving issues. Something about credit checks. Something about credit checks. For uh, either you or someone you're connected with, Virgo, is trying to get like an apartment or like rent a house or something and it's like they can't really get they can't like pass the credit check it's like something like that and it's very frustrating very frustrating but anyway so group b group b uh, that's all i was picking up on for group b feeling like someone someone left you with a lot of carnage here red flags okay thank you red flags there were red flags that were missed along the way when it came to this trickster and you're just trying to put it behind you. You're just trying to put it behind you. Feels like you got scammed. That's how you feel. You feel like you got scammed in love and, and or business. And there were a lot of red flags along the way. <clears throat> Excuse me. But you or the person you're connected with just didn't see them. And now you're kind of left with the burden. Oh, oh, hold on a second. <laughs> Being left with the burden of trying to deal with it. But either way, Virgo, if you're on the receiving end of this or it's just someone in your environment, your energy feels very zen and you feel very grounded. You feel very much like you can take on anything right now, which feels very awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and get into your reading. I know my voice is cracking all over the place. Thank you, Mercury, my Virgos and your merc mercurial energy. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, for anybody who has any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, please check out the link below, especially if you're on the newer side to tarot or if you have questions already. Please, please watch the video. <laughs> It'll answer some of your questions, I promise you. Okay. Any messages for Virgos? Regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Any messages for Virgos regarding love, July 24th to the 31st? Any messages for Virgos regarding love, July 24th to the 31st? Any messages for Virgos regarding love, July 24th to the 31st? Okay. We'll see what we got here. Oh, nice card to start out with. Justice, Libra energy, righting wrongs, finding balance in your energy, finding balance in a situation, having wrongs righted. I love that that's your first energy out here. Let's see what else we get here, Virgo. Can't go wrong with justice, right? Six of Swords, Aquarian energy. Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy, could also be Aries or Leo. And the Knight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Oh my. Oh my. So justice is coming in here. And following it is this energy of, of moving forward, moving ahead. But with the Knight of Wands and Knight of Cups in reverse, I'm not loving those combinations. That combination together, Knight of Cups in reverse, is usually my inappropriate lover card or someone who's holding back emotionally, who's like, who doesn't understand how to really go about emotions and about loving situations in a healthy way you know they either like give love away to everybody or they don't give anything at all like a little closed off i just okay i just heard scaredy cat i don't know what that's about i just heard scaredy cat and with that knight of wands energy knight of wands is very passionate it is very uh like motivated it's a very motivated energy usually also known as the player card and it, i don't usually say the knight of wands is a player unless i really feel it by surrounding cards knight of cups in reverse kind of confirms that this kind of feels like someone got a getaway got a getaway J jesus someone got away <laughs> seems like someone kind of went running off here i hate to say that but that's kind of how it feels feels like someone went running off and getting justice for that getting justice for that Wow. A scaredy cat. They were running scared. Oh, okay. Thank you for confirming that. All right. Now we have Page of Pentacles. You know, it's funny. In this deck, Page of Pentacles is very much a watching energy, energy to me as opposed to the Page of Swords. I mean, she's like, she's literally coming out from the cold alone in a very heavy coat, I might add, looking through the veil, looking to see what's going on. You know, it feels very much like a watching energy, like watching from the outside, watching from the outskirts. It is also an energy of study. Very much like a student card and an olive branch card. Very much like a friend kind of energy here. But I'm getting watching. Heavy, heavy watching. Watching and waiting. 
What's to wait for? What's to wait for? The window? Window of opportunity. Okay. Any other messages for Virgo? Any other mess? Oh, oh, Virgo. Some of you are doing the watching. Okay, thank you. Virgo, some of you are doing the watching. Keeping tabs on this person. This person who just went running scared. <laughs> I'm like, I can't get over that. Scaredy cat. <laughs> Scaredy cat. <laughs> Any messages for Virgos? Not all of you are watching, but some of you Virgos are definitely watching, definitely studying. You know, Virgos, sometimes you can't help it. I love you Virgos, but you know, that is your nature to figure things out. Any messages for Virgo regarding love, July 24th to the 31st? Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Wow, this is very interesting. So with the Page of Pentacles, it's almost like someone's watching and waiting for someone to start putting an effort again, to start getting their butts to work, start putting an effort into a relationship, a situation, even work itself. Overall energy, wow. High Priestess in reverse, Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader, and you won't believe what's underneath. That damn six of cups again. Scorpionic energy, past life, soulmate, karmic energy. Yeah, this is going to be stuff coming out about the past, stuff coming out about a soulmate here. It feels good, though. It doesn't feel bad. It actually feels really positive. It doesn't feel upsetting. It doesn't feel upsetting. But either way, justice is coming in. I feel like because this person got away. For whatever whatever this person was running from, or I don't even feel like they're running to anything. It just feels like they were running away is really what it feels like and very very much in a, an energy of player i hate to say that but i can't deny what i'm i'm seeing and what i'm getting guys i really can't anyway very motivated to run away scared getting justice for that getting justice for that and virgo it seems like you're just you're just like all right any day now are you gonna finally stop being scared and start putting energy into something like someone's tapping their foot <laughs> someone's looking at someone else tapping their foot like are you going to get up off your butt and start to do something productive start to put energy into yourself start to put energy into anything positive like that's kind of how this is feeling sorry I don't mean to laugh it is kind of there's there's an energy of just like a little comedic with the tapping of the foot anyway so let's get into justice <laughs> oh Virgo mm. let's get into justice I'm gonna use Rider Waite to clarify Okay, tell me about justice for Virgo. Tell me about justice for Virgo regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about justice for Virgos regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about justice for Virgos. Regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about justice for Virgos regarding love. Okay, that feels good. Tell me about this justice here. How is justice coming about? Oh, wow. We have Page of Swords and Four of Pentacles. This is communication about something that is being held on to. Very, oh. Something that someone can't let go of. Someone can't let go of something. It feels a little uh, grudge-like, to be honest. It feels a little grudge-like. I feel like there's going to be communication about this. Communication about something that can't be let go. Something that someone's holding on to. For dear life, I might add. Let's see here. Hermit in reverse. There you are, Virgo. Hermit in reverse. This is, this is okay, coming out. Coming out of hermit mode. Coming out of contemplation. Coming out with a light bulb moment. Coming out with truth. Coming out with truth. Tell me about justice for Virgo regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Virgo, I feel like this person can't actually let go of you. And even though they're running, I think that's why you're tapping your foot. Because they ran away scared. They ran away scared. But you know that they're still holding on to you. So you're just like... Any day, any day <laughs> for them to be putting in some effort. Tell me about justice for Virgo regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Am I taking all these is a lot? Oh God, they want you to take them. Okay. Tell me about justice 
Tell me about justice for Virgo regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Okay, so let's look at this funky batch that just came out here. Oh, we've got the world, fixed energy, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, also Saturn, neutrals Capricorn. So opening a whole new cycle, part of justice at play here. That's what's balancing things out, that there's a new cycle starting here. Ten of swords in reverse, Gemini energy, Jesus. Five of wands in reverse, Leo energy. And then we have two of wands, moon and Libra energy with the four of swords. Did I say two of wands? Two of swords, excuse me, guys. Two of swords, moon and Libra energy with the four of swords, more Libra energy. So the cycle that's starting is really doing away with this. This ten of swords, five of wands, this fighting, this pain. It's like... There's a lot, there was a lot of conflict and pain involved here between you and this person, Virgo. And that is what is being washed away. That's what's being cleared out. All of that really tension, tension filled energy around pain and conflict and fighting. That is what's being done away here. With the Two of Swords and the Four of Swords, Four of Swords is like a little mini hermit mode. It's an energy of recovery, of rehabilitation. After healing takes place, like, but like lay on your head. <coughs> excuse me, laying your head down, right? Laying your head down, allowing yourself to get uh, a little bit of re-energized re energy going on there. Um, it's also an energy of meditation. Meditation and contemplation. It is an isolated energy though. It is a single energy. And with that two of swords, it's like basically trying to see what wasn't seen before. Trying to gain clarity on a situation. Because in two of swords mode, you don't have that clarity, right? But with Four of Swords, it's about diving in to get that clarity after getting over the heartbreak, after getting over the pain of it. Wow. Okay. Virgo, I feel like this justice, you're going to get communication from this person and clarity that they can't really let go of you. And Virgos, I'm just being honest with you here. I'm just being honest that once this happens, yes, it will help clear away the, the fighting, the conflict, and the pain. But, but Virgo, I think you're going to need a timeout even after that conversation. I just feel a lot of alone energy here. So even though they might tell you that they haven't let you go and that makes you feel better, you, you feel like you, you need to go and be alone for a little bit after it. Get your own perspective without, okay, thank you. Get your own perspective without their energy involved in it. So it can be true clarity. Like in a way, I feel like you feel if this person's around you too much, it's, it's you're not gonna be able to get clarity that hasn't been tainted by them. You want it to be from yourself, from your own spirit guides, from within your own energy, from within, 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 within. Yeah, I feel like you're going to separate yourself a little bit after this conversation. Overall energy for justice, we have the moon. Piscean energy, also Cancerian for me as a reader. More secrets. More secrets, illusions, also emotion, intuition. This is about the things that are hidden. And what's hidden is just the fact that they can't let go of you. They can't let go of you. They also can't let go of what happened, of them running away like this. But like I said, Virgo, even after this conversation, you're going to ask for some space because you want it. You want it for yourself. And I think that's actually not a bad decision. I think that's quite healthy. All right. So let's go ahead and go further into these energies. So like I said, they went running scared. <laughs> so let's look at the six of swords and see why they went running. Actually, no, knight of wands, knight of wands, knight of wands. That's where the motivation lies is in the knight of wands. Talk about the knight of wands for Virgo. Regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Talking about the Knight of Wands for Virgo. Regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Talking about Knight of Wands for Virgo. Regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Talking about Knight of Wands. Tell me about Knight of Wands for Virgo. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Almost bent the hell out of this card. Page of Swords. Page of Swords making another appearance here. Yeah, this is definitely that same person. Definitely that same person. They're, they're going to explain why they why they dipped. They're going to explain why they dipped on you. Tell me about Knight of Wands for Virgo regarding love. July 24th 
whoa, 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 to the 31st. Tell me about the Knight of Wands for Virgo regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Did they see something? Wait a minute. I feel like it was a conversation. I feel like a conversation prompted them to run, but there's something about seeing here too. Something that they saw might have prompted a conversation between the two of you and then they went running scared. Or you could have seen something Virgo and then confronted them on it and then they went running scared. Something like that. Tell me about Knight of Wands. Tell me about Knight of Wands for Virgo regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about Knight of Wands for Virgo regarding love. Let's see what we got here. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. Oh, wow. Six of Pentacles, Taurian energy, and five of Pentacles in reverse. More Taurian energy. A lot of Taurus energy going on here. These last two cards are about forgiveness. The Six of Pentacles is basically the minor to the major of justice, which you have out here. As above, so below. This forgiveness, this mending of, of issues here, uh, balancing out the energy between the two of you, coming out of the cold with each other, that's exactly what's supposed to happen here, okay? With the Page of Swords and Seven of Pentacles in reverse, clearly this person made a mistake. Seven of Pentacles is my life path card, and when it's in reverse, it's making bad investments, Making bad investments, taking detours off the path. Running was a mistake. Running was a mistake. They're going to tell you that. They're going to tell you that. Overall energy, we do have the Emperor in reverse. Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy. This is the energy of the person who ran. Okay? This is essentially the running energy. Um, someone who's very ungrounded. Security. Someone who needs a lot of reassurance in their security. They're not a very secure person emotionally. I'm also getting assistance. Something about assistance. This person likes likes or needs both. They like and need to have a lot of assistance in their life. Just handling life is what I'm getting. This person I feel like needs to, uh, they need some reassurance that they actually have life skills and that they can handle life. I feel like whatever's gone down on their journey in life in general has made them very insecure made them feel like they can't really handle very much they could have had a very overcritical parent or family member um or grew up in a very unstable household but in either way it's like i just feel like this person is always easy to get anxious that like the that the bottom's gonna drop out that's how it, that's how it's feeling like is it safe to walk here or is the floor gonna drop out beneath me that's kind of how this person goes through life living that's not oh that's that's a rough way to live i don't think i could live with that way that's a lot of anxiety to carry a lot and then we go into this page of pentacles eight of pentacles reverse like i said virgo i feel like you're just tapping your foot waiting for them to put in some effort here uh but let's look at the page of pentacles and then we'll pull some advice i'm gonna use alice in wonderland for this one tell me about page of pentacles for Virgo, regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about Page of Pentacles for Virgo, regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Tell me about Page of Pentacles for Virgo, regarding love, July 24th to the 31st. Okay. Tell me about Page of Pentacles for Virgo regarding love. Whoa. <laughs> Fool in reverse. I'm getting a lot of restless energy, Virgo. Aries energy, also Aquarius. This is a Uranus card. This is, oh God, this is like so eager to jump in. <laughs> so eager to jump in. No wonder you're tapping your foot. You're restless. You're like, oh my God. <laughs> This is funny. Um, when are they actually going to do it? When are they going to do it? When are they going to do it? Virgo, you must know that they want to come in and talk to you because you're waiting for them to show you effort. I know this. <laughs> I know we're getting bits of the story out of order, right? That usually happens when I do tarot readings. So essentially, Virgo, you will get justice because they will come in and talk to you. But after they come in and talk to you, it is going to make both of you feel better. But you're going to want some space from this person. You're going to be like, hey, I just need a little space to just kind of wrap my own head around this. Let's just take a let's just let's take a little break, all right? So that's basically where you're ending. This energy of like, are you going to do anything yet? This is before justice comes in. 
you know you already know this person wants to come in and talk to you you already know and the energy that we went over the whole dipping and running scared this is the clarity you're going to get from this person when they come in and talk to you okay um you're going to find out why they dipped you're good they're going to tell you it was a mistake they're going to tell you they do want to fix things um but basically they're just really easy to scare i just got scaredy cat with that but anyway before they do talk to you you're like when are they actually going to talk to me i'm like like you're almost getting really really sick and frustrated of waiting for them and I don't think you're sitting there waiting, twiddling your thumbs, not doing anything. I think you're living your life. But in the back of your head, you're like, is today the day? Is today the day? Tell me about Page of Pentacles for Virgo. Oh, Virgo. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles for Virgo regarding love. Oh, wow. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles for Virgo. All right, so we got two other cards out here. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Also my pre-Empress card. It's basically like a younger, very single Empress energy is like the best way to put that. And then we have the world again, fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorp Scorpio, also Saturn, neutrals, Capricorn, going into a whole new cycle. You're just like, when are they going to do this? Because the second they do it, there's going to be stability that comes in. Stability and a whole new cycle will open up for the both of you in your relationship, in your connection. And you know that, which is why you're getting restless about it and why you're a little frustrated. Because you're like, I'm just sitting here like the awesome little Nine of Pentacles energy I am. And the second they jump in, we're going to have stability. We're going to have a whole new cycle. They just have to do it. They just have to do it. Overall energy. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. I actually feel like this is you maintaining your balance, Virgo. You maintaining your balance and knowing that they just have to make the choice to just do it, right? It's literally just a choice. Literally just a choice. This person will realize that. They will. They will realize it's just an easy decision and they just have to take the step forward. And once they make the choice, they will come in and talk to you and tell you, hey, I haven't let you go. I can't let this go. I can't really get over this. I can't get over you. Um... Mm, I'm flashing back to the beginning of the reading, realizing that their life has just been a series of choices. And the only reason it's hard is because they've made it hard. Either way, Virgo, it looks like you're in a very awesome place here. And like I said, after this conversation, which you already know is coming, you're just frustrated that it hasn't happened today, like right now, but it will happen. And once it happens, all of that tension, conflict, and pain will start to wash out between the two of you. But even then, you're still going to ask for a timeout so you can just be in your own energy with it and get your own head wrapped around it to make sure that you're really getting true clarity and not just, you know, tainted by their energy is like the best way to say that. Okay. All right. So let's get some advice from the spirit animal deck. Sorry, excuse me. Got a little itchy eye. There we go. Any advice from my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice from my Virgos regarding this spread? Any advice for my Virgos regarding the 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 spread? What do we have here? Ooh, I like it. Bobcat spirit, life is a mystery with the vibration of eight, which is a very successful, Jesus, success related vibration is basically what I call my CEO vibration. It is abundance. It is prosperity. Um, and a lot of readers will also say it is, like you know, the infinity symbol on its head, very much like magician energy, right? Uh, but Virgos, don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. That little frustration that you've been feeling regarding this person, that impatient feeling you've been regarding this person. I feel like I've said this to you before, Virgo, so don't shoot me, but just trust, just trust that it will happen and we can't control everything. Life is about the unknown. Life is about the surprises. That's half the fun. It's happening. I promise it's happening. For those that resonate with this, it's happening. Any other advice? Any other advice? Oh, I love that. Buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide. What did I just say, Virgo? It's going to happen. The universe will provide it to you. And the buffalo spirit is a cyclical energy. We got the world twice. That's like the cycle of all cycles, right? That's major life cycles. It's not just like 
oh, it's my birthday, another new year. No, it's like not every nine years, every 20 some years. It's like, these are big, big cycles. And in, in regards to relationships and connections, they're about phases, right? They're about the major phases in a relationship, the major milestones, the major learning experiences, not just, you know, oh, we're at the three month mark. No, it's bigger than that. It's the emotional milestones here, okay? Um, you will be successful in this. Just keep trusting and know that you can't control it. You can't control, you can't control it. Whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen. All you can do is control your own action in this. And I know it's easy to get frustrated when you know something is coming, just as someone who's intuitive. I know it can be frustrating, um, but everything in timing, everything in timing, okay? Let's see what else we got here. Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Virgos regarding this spread? Okay. Now we've got, oh, cow spirit, the miracles are endless. Oh my gosh, 15 breaking down to a six. This whole card is about blessings and abundance. Abundance, abundance. <laughs> all your cards are basically telling you, and even just the way these animals look, oh my God, because not all the animals in, the, in this deck look like this. I just realized they're all staring straight on. Those are very intense looks, right? All three of these are like, <laughs> in Virgo, <laughs> that's what you're doing energetically to this person. Energetically to this person, you're like, are you doing it today? Are you doing it today? Are you doing it today? And you know, if you have a very telepathic connection with this person, or if you astral to each other, your higher self, I think, is probably even saying that to them. Are you doing it today? Are you going to talk to me today? <laughs> just, be, just be mindful of that, Virgo. Just be mindful. All three of these cards are yelling at you that, hey, it's coming. It's happening. Stability and, and abundance is coming between you and this person. They just have to make the decision in their own time. And no, Virgo, you can't control this. It's going to happen when it's going to happen. I know. I'm sorry. Don't get mad at me, but it's just true. And then we have Bat Spirit. A rebirth is assured. Oh, I like this. This is basically indicating that change is occurring in this situation. Change is occurring between the two of you. And it's leading to a really beautiful new start. Really beautiful new start. I really love that. I love that. Um, Virgos, I hope you guys found this insightful and helpful. And I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Bye, Virgos. Namaste.